Hello, I am Todd Cotta, and this is Alex, and this is Reviews It. The firearms industry has been doing many, many, many things these last few years with the invention of new materials, computer-aided drafting, uh, simulated testing, and then real-world testing has made the firearms industry grow exponentially over the past several years. Lots of new products coming out, lots of great things happening in the industry. Some of the biggest innovations in the industry have been the 22 caliber pistol. Over time, what, what kind of guns? Um, well, the older ones were like the Ruger Mark 1s, 2s, and 3s. Big, heavy guns. Yeah, they were more meant for target. They weren't really, you know, sit, you know they, they weren't really similar to their standard ammunition brethren, I guess you would say. One thing about all 22 pistols, and, and, and I tell this in my CCW classes and the people that are asking me, are they a good self-defense round? And I, I, I have to go back and say that the 22 caliber long rifle cartridge was made for rifles, and especially bolt-action rifles, because at the time it was invented, it was never part of a, uh, a semi-automatic rifle. And then you got the 1022 coming out, and those kinds of things, but they have very small actions. On pistols, you got a lot of moving parts, and a lot yeah. of weight going on, and so I've found that historically, those kinds, uh, 22 caliber pistols, just aren't as reliable as nine millimeter, 380, 45, the standard center fire would, would you agree? Yes, wholeheartedly, <laughs> yes. But back in the late 2000s, Ruger came out with the SR-22 and they brought up the, they brought up what you thought of a 22 pistol. They made it a better pistol. Yeah. Different grips, different things, very light and very reliable. I have one and it really shoots well. Uh, we have Walthers that we've had here for years in the store and those things are just not reliable. No. Uh, they just aren't. <clears throat> but in the last six months, two guns have come out. Two very special guns have come out. About six, eight months ago, the M&P 22 Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson. And then just a few weeks ago, the brand new Glock 44 22. We're going to shoot these two today and we're going to talk about them right now and we're going to compare them side by side and we're going to get out in the range and we're going to do something special in the range. So get ready for that. We're going to run three different types of ammo through these guns and see how they run. When I was at SHOT Show, there was this huge Glock booth. And each, this booth had about seven kiosks of every pistol Glock has. And every year it gets a little bit bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. There was groups of people standing around this gun right here. It was one of the biggest announcements at SHOT Show. Well, we've had calls for it. We've had people wanting to come by and see it. And every chance we get, we get it out just so that people can check it out. I mean, it, it's, it's been highly anticipated. Glock has never put out a 22, And now they finally got it and people are just psyched over it. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So... Let's go over the two pieces of these guns. Let's take a look at the functions and features and weights. And then we'll go from there and we'll go out to the range and go take care of it. How's that? Okay. First of all, you go ahead, this is the older gun, so go ahead and tell me about the, the specs on this gun right here. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P 22. Okay. Smith & Wesson M&P 22, 10 plus one capacity, uh, 22 LR, just like we talked about, single action only. It's a, um, 27.2 ounces sights are adjustable and it's got the four inch barrel so it's the full size model good 27.2 <clears throat> ounces right yes <clears throat> here we go Glock 44 22 caliber their safe action it's got the same trigger basically it's just a skosh smaller than a 19 it's not a 19 it's just close Barrel length is 4.2 inches, almost exactly the same. Capacity is 10, 12.63 ounces versus 27.20 ounces. I'll tell you why in just a minute why that happens. 
uh, weight loaded is 16.4 and trigger pull is the same kind of trigger pull you're going to see in the big locks. Yeah. Now, here's where it makes these different. This one here has a steel slide, polymer grip and frame with a steel insert. This one here has a plastic slide with a steel insert on the slide. You'll see this stripe right here and a regular Glock Gen 4, Gen 5 grip. It's noticeable. When you pick it up, it does not feel like what you would expect from a Glock. It, 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 the, grip, the, the, the feel of it is Glock, yes, for sure. The weight of it does not feel like it at all, but they did that for a reason. What happens when you were showing this to some of your uh, customers when they first pick it up? They think it's a toy. They're, they're, that's what they say, this feels like a toy. They're like, well, they're, this, wow, this, this feels like a toy. They've mentioned they have airsoft that weigh more than that. But there's a reason. This slide is not all steel. Mm -hmm. Reason being, it helps process the ammo a lot more efficiently. You can't have a heavy slide with 22 because then it takes more force to kick that slide back. So at SHOT Show, when I walked up to this guy, there was another guy standing next to me. And I'm looking at it, and I'm, I almost, I almost field stripped it because I'm so used to field stripping guns when I first get them. And the, the guy was like, ah, no. But the guy next to me says, what kind of ammo does it eat? Will it jam? Well, at this, well, he goes, we put a hundred different weights and manufacturers and styles of ammo through this gun. And it, and it worked with, worked great, he said. He wouldn't say it always worked, he just said it works great. Yeah, but is it good? I go, man, I looked at the guy, I go, we're talking about a 22. You know that, right? There's some crappy 22 out there that's probably never gonna run through this thing. Yeah, but will it, it will jam, okay? You put crap in this thing, it's gonna jam. But the dude was just hung up on this. What kind of ammo did you put through it? Could you show me the makes and variants? And did it? No. He was just mental. And people are going to be mental about 22s because they have been historically yeah. crap. Yeah. But when you pick this gun up, it is much lighter. Now I want you to pick this gun up. I'm gonna pick this gun up. Check it up. Okay. First of all, take a magazine out. This one is a plastic mag, and it has the loader uh, buttons on the side. So does that one. This one's more like a double stack mag versus a single stack mag. You can see the huge difference in these two styles of mag. This is more like a, um, a buckmark uh, buckmark mag, yeah. just like a buckmark mag. And I, I, I haven't tested them, checked them that way, but it's just like that. But this one looks like a Glock mag. That one looks like a buckmark mag. Mm -hmm. They both have your uh, assist, loading assist on them. But now, go ahead and set your mag down. Rack it. Okay. Now, let's switch. Much, much lighter. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, this one feels a few pounds lighter. It does, lighter. actually. I mean, heavier. Plastic, all up on the top here on this Glock. This is all metal. <laughs> uh, no safeties. You can get this with or without a safety. Okay. And uh, both of them have light rails on them. This one here does have the typical trigger reset of a Glock. Empty. That one has a uh, magazine disconnect? Yep. This one does not. Points Glock. <laughs> yep. Cleaning points, Glock. Glock all day, you can't. <laughs> Never needs a tool, pop it off, good to go, field strip it with ease. Yep. Grip-wise, both feel good. I like the big dovetail on the back of the, the Smith & Wesson. It's just nice. Well, that one does come with the, the rear back straps. It does have extra back straps, just yeah. like on the big ones. Yeah. So you can make it fit your hand. Yeah. So this one has what you got. No extra back straps on this one. So that's one really nice thing about that. A little bit of a flared magwell. Well, that's, that's exactly what the Glocks did. They did the flared back well, and normally they have that half moon cut out, but I believe they stopped making those because a lot of people complained. I know when I would do a fast reload with my 19 Gen 5, You'd pinch I'd pinch my finger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm pretty sure they did away with those in the later models, and this sure. is considered a later model. Well, 
I think the number one thing is let's go and let's put some ammo through these guns and let's see how they eat different kinds of ammo. Yeah, sounds good. Fair enough? Yeah. Good. Well, let's go ahead into the range. Okay, so we're in the range now. We're gonna be doing some tests on three different ammo choices for this gun. CCI Mini Mags, of course, is the preeminent all-star here. We have CCI 1,000 feet per second right here, and we have some Super Agu Agu Aguila Super Extra. That one there runs about 1,200, no, uh, 1,200 feet per second. Yeah, 1,255 feet per second. So we're gonna run three different types of 22 through the guns today. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna use today, we're gonna put five rounds through each of the guns. That's the Smith & Wesson M&P 22, the Glock 44. Up first is a Aguila Super Elite, Super Extra, I'm sorry, Super Extra. Glock 44. Next up, Smith & Wesson M&P 22. Already got a jam. Ho ho! Dropping my magazine, walking the slide back. Let's try that again. Seem to be good. Target two. So now we're going to be using the 40 grain standard velocity CCI 1070 feet per second. Glock first, I'll be using target number three. It's my first time shooting one of these new 44s. Here we go. Just fine. Ate it just fine. Here we go. MP 22. Target number three. Much easier to wreck this slide. It just feels smoother. But that's a lighter gun, isn't that weird? Yeah. All right, up last, but certainly not least, CCI Mini Mag, industry standard. That's what a lot of 22 guns call for. This one was 1235 feet per second. Running this with your gun, you're not gonna have any problems. Up first, the Glock 44. Smith & Wesson MMP 22 CCI Mini Mag. Again. Okay. You got to admit, you're slamming it in there pretty hard. Just put the magazine in the gun. I get it. So if you're doing it hard, it's going to do that. But I'm doing it just as hard with the Glock. So. Okay. There we go. Like I said at the very beginning, technology, engineering, 
computers have made the gun industry so much better. Right? Yeah. Ah, oh, let's get these things off. Just like these two guns came out, historically, 22s are very finicky with different speeds and sizes and types of ammo. Yep. This stuff went through perfectly, these two guns today. And I know we only use three different types, and, but we use different speeds, different velocities, and it seemed to work just fine. I will say, as far as the shooting part, yeah, there were no jams. I did experience a little bit with that, with the magazine fit, uh, feeding. Just like you said, maybe I'm giving it a little bit too much ump. I'm giving it just as much as I would with the standard gun, just as much as I gave with this one. These mags are kind of, they seem like they're based on the Brownie or sure. the Walther style. So it, you might need to maybe not give it as much, but I, I like the fact that this one I could treat just the same as my standard Glock 19. So at the end, let's do a pluses and minuses with this gun. Both of them are very, very good looking guns. Yeah. This one's easier to rack than that one. Yes. And the reason why I bring that up is last night in my skills builder class, I had an 85 year old woman in class. This 85 year old woman could not rack any of the guns in the house. So finding the lighter rack for some people is much, much is yes. needed. Yes. So racking the gun on this one, great. Sights, this one has adjustable sights. So does that one? Yes. So both have adjustable sights? Yes. Great. Um, this one has the U shape, no, no dots in the back, just on the front. Uh, this one does have an external safety with or without. This one comes just like a Glock. Passive safety. Yes. Trigger on both of these, I didn't notice a bad trigger. I'm familiar with this one, but I didn't think this one was bad. Like it was, I don't know, it, it, it didn't bother me, but I'm familiar with the Glock trigger. So it was, it reacted and acted just like a Glock trigger. I might be a little biased because I am a Glock fanboy. I do enjoy Glocks. That one did seem like it had more take up on yes. the trigger than the Glock did. Yes, and historically the Smiths have that. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Finally, the one that is the killer for me is ease of maintenance. We're going to go research how to do this, but if you cannot take down a gun just by its intuitive st style with its ancestry, that's not a good thing for me. This Glock disassembles just like every Glock you've ever used. I've owned some really nice firearms and one thing that is a killer for me is when a gun is not easy to take apart or it needs tools to take it apart. This is just like Todd said, this gun comes apart just like any other Glock that you may own already and almost everyone owns some type of Glock. Mm -hmm. Very easy, no problems whatsoever. I, I, I just, I can't think much more of this gun. I, I, I'm really enjoying this one. Two good guns, one great gun. Yes. Um, I can't, no, the Glock by far is uh, the superior, superior firearm. I, I would have to say so too. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it that I could see, uh, but again, I'm used to Glocks. So mm -hmm. again, I might be a little biased there. The only problem that I have with both of these guns is that the state of California won't allow average citizens to purchase it. Unfortunately, these are both law enforcement only firearms. In California? In California. Could this be what the new Glock is gonna look like? With all these big cuts in the slide in the future? I know some of them already have the front serrations. Is it big like this though? They're small. Not, not, not quite as yeah. pronounced, I guess you would say. They're making them prettier. They're looking a lot better for sure. Hey guys, please subscribe below. Without your subscriptions, we can't continue making these videos and we hope you enjoy our videos. Comment if you like, but please come back and help us make great gun videos. Thank you for watching Reviews It. The Glock is a little bit of a tougher. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's not going on there.
دیگر پدرانه آپر به دیگر دیگر The Glock. Okay. So we have found that the Glock, maybe a few pounds more on the on the on the spring on this guy.